Released on September 9, 2014, it was produced by Danger Mouse, with additional production from Paul Epworth, Ryan Tedder, Declan Gaffney, and Flood. Product launch event and released the same day to all iTunes Store customers at no cost. It was exclusive to iTunes, iTunes Radio, and Beats Music until October 13, 2014, when it received a physical release on Island and Interscope Records. After the relatively lukewarm commercial performance of their previous record, No Line on the Horizon, 2009, lead singer Bono expressed uncertainty over how the band could remain musically relevant. However, they struggled to complete an album to their satisfaction and continually delayed a release. After working with Danger Mouse for two years, the group collaborated with Flood, Epworth, and Tedder to complete the record. Thematically, it revisits the group members' youth in Ireland in the 1970s, touching on childhood memories, loves, and losses, while paying tribute to musical inspirations Ramones and The Clash. Songs of Innocence received mixed reviews and drew criticism for its digital release strategy, the album was automatically added to users' iTunes accounts, which for many, triggered an unprompted download to their devices. Upon its commercial release, Songs of Innocence sold just 101,000 copies in North America and charted for just six and eight weeks in the UK and US, respectively. The Group S press tour for the album was interrupted after Bono was seriously injured in a bicycle accident. In 2015, U2 supported the album with the successful Innocence Experience tour.